Hi, it's Dr. Blossman again. I will be talking about the pathway known as glycogenesis. This pathway is building that highly branched molecule of glycogen. This is stimulated from insulin, which is a hormone secreted from the endocrine cells of the pan pancreas. Why would we want to build glycogen? Well, if we have enough energy, if we have a plethora of glucose molecules, we want to get rid of them because you don't want them in the bloodstream, you don't want too much in a cell, so the body is going to take them up and store them as glycogen. We're going to do this again from hormonal control, primarily stimulated from insulin. It's not going to be an exact reversal of the um, glycogenolysis. This will Anytime we have a synthesis or an anabolic reaction, it will require energy. And this time the energy is going to be supplied from UTP, which is analogous to an ATP. Um, it's just one of another nucleoside triphosphates. What we're going to have is the first step. We're going to have glucose attached to a UTP. So glucose 1-phosphate is going to react with the UTP and it's going to make UDPG. We're also going to create a pyrophosphate, which has a lot of energy in it. It's just two phosphates linked together via an anhydride bond. And this is going to be catalyzed from glycogen synthase. Synthase, we're building it. And what are we building? We're building glycogen. So glycogen synthase is going to catalyze the reactions of glycogenesis. UDPG is going to be the molecule that will add to this growing chain but we first need to have a primer. So the first step, we're going to have a tyrosine, the OH group of a tyrosine on a protein known as glycogenin. It's going to create this primer for us. After it links about eight molecules of glucose together, then we're going to have glycogen synthase take over. So glycogen synthase can't start from scratch. It can't put two glucose molecules together. It's going to need, again, glycogenin to create this eight molecule alpha-1,4 linkaged strand of carbohydrates before glycogen synthase can take over. And again, if you look at this diagram, we have the UDPG just linking on the um, next glucose in the chain. This is Brenda the Not-So-Good Witch signing off for today. See you next time on Dr. Bond Science Theater.